Hey guys and welcome. <laughs> My name is Uchechi. For those of you who do not know me, I am a content creator and digital marketing consultant. In my last YouTube video where I talked about my favorite apps for content creation, I mentioned that Canva has a new feature which is the content planner and scheduler. However, because that wasn't the main point of the video, I went over that point really quickly, right? And um, now I have gotten like about two questions off Instagram on canvas content planner so what i'm going to do is i would post to my facebook page from the content planner and just show you the process from start to finish it's pretty easy and pretty straightforward but i'll just record my screen and show you so you see what it looks like okay let's jump right in <music> Now, once you open Canva, Content Planner is on the left-hand side. So you click on Content Planner and it opens up a calendar which is broken down into months. So by default, I mean the month that would, the first month that will pop up is the month that we are in. So August is here. But if you want to switch months, like if you want to go forward or backward, you just come to the top here and click on the arrow facing forward or the arrow pointing backwards to go to previous months. To schedule the post, come to the date where you want to schedule and click on this plus sign. You will have two options, which is create, which are create a design and choose a design. Create a design is for if you're just going to create here and then schedule to your social media platforms. Choose a design is if you already have a design that you just want to schedule to your social media platforms. So I'm going to pick choose a design and this is what I want to post. So quickly at the top, you can see um, the day and time, and then you see choose a destination, all pages, which shows you, um, so if you have multiple pages in a, in a graphic design, which I typically have, you will see all of them. So here you can, you know, click the drop down to pick which one you want to post. Or if you want to post all of them, then you leave it that way. So I'm going to post all of them. So I'll just leave it that way. Now I want to change the time. The time is currently 12, 17 PM. So I want to post, I want to change it to like 12, 19 so that it will post immediately. And I can just show you immediately what it looks like on my Facebook page. So, um, 12, no 12. Yes. Uh, 12, let's do 12, 19. It's currently 12, 18. Okay. And click on done. No, let me change it. <laughs> Let me do 1221. Yes. So currently 1218, 1219. And I would write my caption. Then choose your destination. So I'm post to my Facebook page. So I would click on this plus sign that has schedule two and you can see the platform. So these are the platforms that you can currently schedule to from Canva. So you can't schedule to platforms outside what is already stated here. Unfortunately, as you can see, Instagram is not one of those platforms. I'm not sure why seeing as Facebook is here, but maybe in future updates, it will be included. So I'm going to click on Facebook page. And it will ask me to connect my account, which is what happens to any platform where you want to schedule to. So I'm going to connect my Facebook page. And that's it. So my Facebook page is now connected to Canva. So what? So I'll click on my page and everything is ready to go. You know what? Let me bring this forward to 1220 since I thought I was going to take time with this, but let me bring it forward to 1220. It's currently 1219. Click on done and click on schedule post. So quickly you can see that it already appears on today's date. So you can see the post that has been scheduled and by the corner, it shows you the platform where it has been scheduled to. Unfortunately, you cannot bulk schedule, right? So you cannot pick multiple platforms. So if you want to post on multiple platforms, you'd have to do this individually. Now let's jump over to my Facebook page to be sure that the post has gone up. It is currently 1220. Come on internet. And you can see guys, it is here. This is the post I scheduled from Canva and it has posted here. 
and that's it it's pretty easy pretty straightforward however this feature is available only on the canva pro plan so if you are on the free version that you're not currently paying for canva you would not have access to this feature which then brings me to the second part of this video should you pay for canva I pay for Canva because I can download images without background, I can download text without background. I use Canva to create my text overlays for my YouTube videos, for my client videos. I'm able to group some of my graphics into folders and name them. I'm able to have brand kits where I pick my color palettes and my fonts, you know, a bunch of things. So if I had other apps or other tools or software where I could do all of these, I probably wouldn't pay for Canva or maybe I will because I mean it's just very accessible just for convenience right really just for convenience since I already have everything on one platform then I can as well pay for it and just I mean just <laughs> English language just use everything so really it depends paying for the pro plan totally depends on what you need it for or what you currently use it for the good thing though is that um you have monthly payments so it's like it's a pay as you go plan so if you find that in a certain month you're going to use a lot of pro features then maybe you can pay for that month and if the next month you have been able to see what your workload looks like and um maybe you're a freelancer or a, or a social media manager and you don't have a lot of clients that would require you, you to create graphics and need the pro features then you don't need to pay for the pro plan for that month okay so that's it really paying for the pro plan on canva totally depends on what you are using canva for does this help i hope it does let me know in the comment section and if you have more questions feel free to ask in the comment section or feel free to send a dm and i will respond to your questions all right guys have a lovely week and bye